Hey guys, tonight on Cooking with Adrian, we are going to be making a peach cobbler. And this is a very, very simple and easy recipe. So if you've met, never made a cobbler before, don't worry, you can do this. It is so easy. There's three ingredients. You need um, a box of cake mix and you need three 15.25 um, ounce cans of sliced peaches and heavy syrup and you need a half a cup of butter. Um, and these are, I love these little things. These are little one fourth um, cup sticks. So it's really easy, just pull up what you need. Okay, so what you do is, you put your peaches in, you dump your cake mix on top of that. This is what's called a dump peach cobbler. And then you put your butter on top of it and you cook it for an hour and that's it. It's so simple. But I found this recipe on Pinterest. Um, it's a Del Monte recipe, so that's why I'm using the Del Monte uh, peaches. And they had some suggestions for making the peaches, uh, of the peach cobbler, and you could fancy it up. And I'm going to do that by using uh, half a cup of brown sugar and another one fourth cup of melted butter and one and one half cup pecans. So this is gonna be really simple. So we'll go ahead and get started. Now these are pop top cans, so that makes it even simpler. Okay, now you're gonna want to use two of your cans. You're going to want to, let me move that so you can see, the heavy syrup, okay? And that third can, you are going to drain the syrup out, okay? Okay guys, I went ahead and drained the um, last can of peaches. So we're just gonna throw this in here. And you don't have to stir anything or you know, anything special. Um, but do just make sure your peaches are kind of spread out just a little bit. Uh, you don't want them all bunched up in one little corner. All right, now take your cake mix. And you're just gonna evenly sprinkle this over the top of your peaches, okay? I don't know if you can really see this as well, but just trust me. And if you will forgive me, I don't have a camera person tonight, so you're on the tripod. And I'm also trying to take pictures because I do have a blog where I do step-by-step -step instructions. And I like to try and take pictures as I go. So that um, people that use my blog and don't want to watch the videos can see this and see how to do this. Okay, and you just want to cover this really well. Try and cover all your peaches up. Peaches for you, peaches for me. There was a song called Peaches back in the 90s by the President of the United States of America. They were a one hit wonder. I'm just going to kind of dust that over just a little bit. You don't have to do that, but I can't help myself. Okay, now take your butter that's melted and you just drizzle it right on top here. This is so simple. And you don't have to tell anybody how simple this is. This can be your little secret and my little secret, okay? Okay, now, if this is all you want to do, if you don't want to fancy this up, and I'm going to put the link um, on the, um, somewhere in the comment section or the little description section of where you can find this Pinterest recipe. And um, I also have a Pinterest page, and I have all of my YouTube videos, all of my blog information there, and I'm going to link this on there so you can find this recipe. Now, if you're done here, you stick this in the oven for 55 minutes at 350 degrees. My oven's preheated, but I'm gonna try and fancy this up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and melt another one fourth cup of butter. This is one stick. And I'm using salted butter. All right, excuse me for just a second. Let me throw this in the microwave. Now, 
Now this part you're going to want to mix this in a bowl. This part you're going to dump it all in the bowl and then you're going to dump it on top of your cake mix or your cobbler mix. Okay. Now the butter didn't quite melt but that's okay. Once I put this all together, stir it up a little bit, it'll be fine. I'm just going to wipe my cup out here a little bit and reuse it. And get the cons. But if you don't like the cons, you are more than welcome to use something else. Alright, there's good news and there's bad news. Good news is I didn't have to buy more of the cons. Bad news is I underestimated the amount I have. I have one cup here, but that's okay. We're just going to use the one cup. You can use as little or as much as you want. This is up to you, okay? Alright. Put my brown sugar. Now this says a packed half cup. Okay, so you want to make sure you get just the right amount in there. Stuff is not coming up very quickly. Alright. Now, let's grab a spoon. down. Now that's right at half a cup. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to just dump that in there. Set that to the side. And now we're just going to stir this up. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see what this looks like. Now you want to make sure all that brown sugar mixes well with the butter. So it might be good to put the butter and the sugar in first and then add the pecans. You know, when I'm looking at the camera, um, this is what it looks like. But when I'm looking at myself, you know, like in the little side, this is what it looks like. It's, you know, I'm crazy. Alright. I believe this is called praline pecan, okay? They have several different ones. Um, they had one that was like a car salted caramel that looked real good. And then there was a couple of others. Okay. Now what you're going to do is just kind of... Dump this right on top here. Try and keep it from clumping up all in one area. You want to make sure you cover the whole thing. You don't want to deprive anybody of their praline. Now this is used in a 9 by 13 pan. Um, I'm using my Princess House glass pan that my mom got me that I love. It has a little cover that I can put over it so no dealing with plastic wrap and stuff. I just put my cover on and go. Now this is something that people are going to eat and think, wow, she must have spent all afternoon in the kitchen. You know, this is really hard. And you saw, you guys, this took just a few minutes. I mean, really. Like I said, it takes a long time to bake, but hey, you can do whatever you want while it's baking. Except for me, I have kids. I have to do whatever they want. Alright, I'm going to kind of spread these out just a little bit. Get a whole lot over here in this area. Here in the corner. I'm going to get a corner piece. Okay. Alright, we are going to stick this in here. Ooh, and be very careful because I've got this, a lot of juice on the bottom and it will slosh. So, 55 minutes. We will be back and we'll pull it out and see how it tastes. All right, so now we're going to pull out, see what it looks like. Hopefully it's done now. Ooh, it smells good. I can tell you that. Look at that. It's a bubbly and it's nice and crispy looking. Ooh, I hope it's good. All right, guys, we are going to try the peach cobbler. Make sure we get a little bit of everything in there. This is so good. This is delicious, guys. You got to make this. If you like peach cobbler, this is perfect. It's not really sweet. It's um, the the pecans add a lot of crunch to it. It's so good. So if you like peach cobbler, 
do try this recipe it's so easy and add a little bit of this uh, homemade mm -hmm. vanilla by Bluebell mm -hmm. and it'll be twice as good all right guys I hope you like this video like I said the recipe is gonna be in the comments check out my blog uh, cooking sorry no it was cooking with Adrian you can google that and you can find me but my new web address is adrianeastcooking.com. It'll be in the comments also. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.